Water is a privilege that not everybody gets to share. What do I mean by this? It's simple. There are communities, even though they have taps, they still don't have water. And they will continue not to have water because water has turned into a very lucrative business. It's only the selected few who benefit while the majority suffers. Not far from where I stay, they've experienced a water problem for a very long time. It's more than five years. It's a community that does have water, that does have taps, but the taps haven't had water in the longest time. So every day, we see these water trucks coming in and people would run with their buckets to collect the water, right? And if you are a person who's working, you have to make alternatives because at the end of the day, you need the water. Sometimes that means paying your neighbors, your friends to collect the water for you so that when you get back from work, you at least have water to survive. But guess what? The fact that people don't have water is a strategy because I've recently discovered, well, it has been something that's said. However, the superiors will not admit to it. But apparently or allegedly for one water truck to leave and go to an area, one trip, they pay up to 5,000 rands. So imagine you are a tender premium and you hold a tender for this. And usually these tender premiers have connections, right? They have connections in government. They have connections in the municipality. So it's not a business that's open to everybody and anybody. Now imagine you have four trucks that, could, that can carry water. Other people call these trucks water um, guns. But, of course, I think the name is going to differ depending on where, you for, where you're from. Abanye by Biza, Ngei Moto Zamans. Whichever way, it's still those trucks. Imagine you have four. And in a single trip, this is just a one trip, you get 5,000. So... In this single trip, four trucks have left. You have 20,000. And it's not even the end of the day. By the end of the day, how much do you think these people make? You see my point? It is a very lucrative business. And now that you know, that there are people benefiting from the fact that there are communities without water. Do you honestly think that these communities will have water anytime soon? It is frustrating though for people who live within these communities because they have to travel far just to get water. They have to pay for water. They have to make so many alternatives just to get water and water is a basic human right and you would assume that water isn't something that would be a struggle because they are not far from the cbd right 
it's basically a 10 minute drive just to get to town but these places still don't have water but they have taps now what do people do they they do what they know best you know things that they feel have been beneficial in the past so they march they riot but now the problem with this is that it is usually done in a place that is close to home and does not really affect whoever is in charge of water at the municipality does not affect them at all because people will burn roads right they will burn roads and these roads still we need them they still do not affect the people in control of the water but it affects the rest of the community that needs to use these infrastructures just to go to work right so now early in the morning people would burn these roads and whoever is going to work will be affected again i get why people would resort to that but it's not affecting the one who's really depriving the people because there are people who are in control of this and problems will never be solved but this is what we know and people generally cannot afford to go to places that are in control so they never get hurt and now people are scared of revealing themselves in a sense they've been a few journalists who came around the area and they wanted to take pictures of what's what people are doing and people don't want pictures or videos to be taken so this makes it very hard for an investigating journalist to write a story about it because how do you write a story with no evidence? And again, the media will end up not knowing. Or oh, let me just say, the majority of people will not know what's going on in communities that are not so far from where they stay. In case you are wondering, and if you feel that what I'm saying is not true, let me make an example. Some parts of Opest have not had water for the longest time. And it's in Kakisigal. Kwindawe ning imzomush. As now Inking Ayamans, I call in Amstange, Inda Bendad. Seguaze, Quachuae Lega Uguti Uye was in Inda, Ushampe Uhambri and Kumani, Uguzuzo Tola Mansi, Mago Gutiba Nawamansi, because sometimes Nakoni Kumani Amans Ayaham. Right? Go to Anok Hamba Eboy. No, ma, Uye was in Inda. As Neko good. As it does. As in our manzi. But because it is such a lucrative business, a manzi is a big But someone is benefiting. 
How do you justify having a tap that does not have water every day? How do you expect an era to develop if there is water, if there are taps, but there are no water? And I know generally Umas Pada usually says, oh no, um, Ube koni kukula yinga kama nzenge eko. I kukula were not here five years ago or four years ago. Because that's how long people have not had water. The next war will be because of water. That is a fact. That has been said so many times. And we are slowly moving there. Ngoba inzima impilo yung kabina wa mat. Igbin ufaneli ukutu ubina mat. Some people move away from rural areas because beka we ink inga zukuti amanta weko. They come to townships. Only to find out even guma townships, there is no water either. And Sometimes we take it for granted. But there are people who are benefiting from the rest of society not having water. Umagu uguti umundu ukanda imali nteganshi kongabi kugwa manzi. Umagu pegi la manzi kusa indo esa zubanayo anytime soon. And to top it all off, Who do we go to? Ngoba. Une kanzel. Abantu baegiona. Baeglona. To complain about the water. Watu muzu no muzi. Mele ukipe. Uhande trend. Just so. Uzo tulagala amans. Uzo lungiso amans. Really. Is that not corruption? Is that not corruption? So, umu tok fight nga bo yenon si zayo. U yena man josefu no gun bambi gun josefu na imali. Imali nge na yo. Ugo zenzo tola amans. Bagwe tu. Yabo e zinye zintu. Zin zin. Ok shuti. Kosa gote. Ugo te zinye inda uze tu itu tuki. Ngoba, ayiko indo nga yenza nga pandle kwa mati. And I don't know what needs to be done, honestly. I'm not an expert, an expert. But I do hope, Uti, somehow, this will reach the right ears. And the problem of water not coming out of the taps can be fixed. And in years, what is cut is ningi manga begu is into isenziga in the winds are bound to get to a no, but in an yawa mosha manza manza ya kapaga na nani. I hear all of that. However, we are talking about a place, a manzi, sick pele in yak in a place where five. How are people expected to survive? God wa alhulu sugu ngisho lodo. Unga ibona ngi moto ya manzi deliver manzi. Which means someone is benefiting from other people not having water. How do you justify that? Minangia titea ngempela futi angazi. Yi ndo. Inga kazululwa kanjana. Kota yonia tinguti kazululwa. Ikini solea fune kukuti libe kona. Ubulungi iswa kumele kube kona. And I'll ask again. How do people survive without water? 
Lizo yuko kala na vya na mshanj. And up until next time, don't forget to be a garment flavor.